chilly. What is it, 40 degrees? I think it was like 41, 42. Yeah, or it's like, yeah, 45 feels like 41 or something. It's cold, but it's not too cold. My hands aren't like freezing yet. I'm literally wearing the biggest leather jacket of my life right now. We're straight off the plane. Like, we haven't even checked into our hotel yet. We're staying so close though. We're at the Hilton Garden Inn obviously near Times Square, which is where we are. Hi. I can't wait to come here at night. I'm literally running on like an hour of sleep. Dude, the pigeons here are fucking huge. Bro, what the fuck? What is this babe? Do you remember what this is called? Parisio. The pizza is so warm. Look at this. Might be a tad bit unwell this morning. Last night I didn't take you guys with me, but we went to the cutest little Italian restaurant. It's called Celeste. We got a recommendation from a local who works at another bar that we went to before that. I believe it was called, ooh, I don't remember. I'll put the name here. Anyways, it was so much fun. It was like a cute little Irish pub. We had some beers there. It was a good time. And then we went to the recommended restaurant. We got there at about like, I want to say, six maybe and i think that was a perfect time because after that the restaurant started to fill up but it was super cute super vibey 100 would recommend like definitely would go back the owner was walking around everywhere like there was so much handmade pasta a lot of stuff was imported directly from italy and then we went to this victorian bar which is an old chapel it's so sick i will also put the name here but i had this really weird drink at the end but it was called the phoebe bridgers so like i had to try it but when i was reading it i was like botanical like Core. Mm, I don't know about that, but nonetheless, it's called Phoebe Bridger, so I'm getting it. Needless to say, Phoebe Bridger's let me down, and I never thought I would say that. Yeah, I just think the mixture of like drinking coffee, espresso, not sleeping the day before at all, having weird cocktails. You guys know I haven't like drank that much recently. Super Bowl Sunday was the first time I had like drank drank in a while, and yeah, it's just drinking's not my thing guys i don't think i can keep doing this i think my days are done anyways the plan for today is hopefully walking the high line yeah just kind of walking around it is freezing fucking cold you guys like i had so many visions for like cute photos at nighttime with these outfits that i put together and i just i don't think it's gonna happen it's so cold and i kind of just want to be like cozy and like enjoy my time i don't want to be like worrying about freezing and trying to get a pic I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna need to be downstairs by 8.30 and it's like 8.15. So yeah, let me get my life together and I'll see you guys soon. I got a little, little nauseous. <laughs> this is an absolute lifesaver. This YSL we'll right candy now. glaze. It's so good. Welcome to One World Observatory. You guys have a good day. You too. That made me feel weird. Yeah. What? This is so gorgeous. Mason's super nervous. He hates heights. <laughs> I love him. And this is so cool. Well, babe, I'm glad I came up with you. Me too. Because, uh, I'm never coming up here again. <laughs>
to go to I'm so thirsty. We are still in the World Trade Center. We're in like the little food court area. There's like a little place over there that you can grab food. There's sushi over here. So I'm just like splitting a sushi roll with Mason. But yeah, little pin stop to eat and then Oh, food's ready. This was recommended to us. We got Los Tacos. We're in Chelsea Market right now. There he is. So nice. Oh my gosh, I can fit inside of that clam. We are back at the hotel. Today has actually been pretty fun. Definitely better than yesterday. Yesterday was still great, but like obviously we were running on no sleep. But we're about to get some pizza. We found this place called Don. <laughs> What's it called? Don Antonio's? Don Antonio's. It looks fire. There's obviously so much good pizza here. And yesterday, I don't even know if I told you, I, I showed you guys the place, but Farinelli's, we had this pizza by Central Park. It was in that circle, Columbus Circle. It's Columbus Circle so fucking good if you guys are in the area like you have to go there carlos. and make sure you talk to carlos carlos was amazing he gave me a free cannoli he was just so sweet and the pizza was divine we were just talking about how interesting new york city is like we're just not new york people like we love this experience but like we, we just we stick out like sore thumbs here we're saying like excuse me to people when we walk by like we're being very friendly holding doors open and i'm like oh this is not normal is it here like people just kind of oh, mind their shit. own business <laughs> what happened <laughs> Mason's making bad. a coffee. We are a bit tired. We started the day kind of early. It's 6 11, so yeah, gonna go get some pizza. Watch TV. And then come back home and I pass out. Oh, and the museum was fucking dope. Like it was literally three days in there. It was actually. We looked at two exhibits and there's four floors. <laughs> yeah, literally. There's four floors. We only went to the first floor and looked at. Two exhibits. There we looked six. at mammals. Was it like a mammal exhibit? We did North American mammals. That was cool. And then we did biodiversity with marine life. Like aquatic life. That was super sick too. I would say the mammals were my favorite though. We have decided we want donuts. The pizza was good. I would give my pizza a little like a okay. six out of ten. It was... I should have got the margarita. I'm not joking you, the bags under my eyes are so serious. I don't know what's going on there, love. I did all my skincare.
seriously i literally just went on a run with tyson and it was the best best thing ever new york was so much fun it was definitely an experience i'm glad that we went i will say there's just there's no place like home like i just love coming home like the fact that i was able to just like go on a run with my dog step out of my backyard this morning there's not like horns honking outside of my window like it really has given me more of an appreciation for where i live and i already love where i live but like i will never be complaining about more tourists coming here i can tell you that much there are so many people in new york and it was off season i cannot imagine all i'm saying is i have such a huge respect for you new york city girlies that shit is crazy <laughs> anyways i'm gonna start editing this vlog now <laughs> i hope you guys love this this is the first of the travel content for the year you know we have italy coming up at the end of the summer so stay tuned and let me know if you guys love the travel vlogs anyways i love you guys so so much and i'll see you next week bye